Hey, do you feel like giving up? Is your musical life driving you a bit crazy, and you're wondering if you should just throw in the towel? This episode is for you. I'm going to take this problem apart, help you figure out what's up, and to decide with confidence whether or not you'd be better off giving up and moving on. Stay tuned. Hi, my name's Christopher Sutton, and this video is for anyone who's ever felt like giving up in their musical life. I've been there myself more than once, but fortunately over the years in my own musical journey and through helping people at Musical U, I've discovered there are things you can do and a mindset you can take that can help you when you get to that sticking point of feeling like you just want to give it all up. We all hit sticking points in our musical lives. It might be a painful performance gone wrong, it might be a frustrating technical skill we're struggling to get right, it might be a confusing quagmire of music theory, or the feeling that our brains or ears just aren't made for music the way that other people seem to be. These things may start out small, but they can accumulate to the point where you're on the brink of giving up completely. It can start to feel like you're in a bad relationship where nothing ever goes right, and you might well find yourself wondering if you should break up with music. And in fact, many of our members at Musical U are returning to music later in life, having actually hit that breaking point when they were younger. Built up frustrations, combined with life getting busy, can mean that music takes a backseat or gets dropped completely. That is a tragedy, because music's incredible, and when things are going right, I think there's almost nothing better than the joy we can experience through music making. Like I said, I've been through this myself more than once, so I wanted to record this to share what I've learned along the way for myself and with our members in the hopes that it helps you avoid that breaking point, or if you've broken up with music in the past, I hope it'll make sure that the next time is more like a marriage than a fling. I'm going to share the mindset and the way of thinking things through that can help you when you feel like you're hitting that breaking point, and can actually be used proactively too to prevent you ever getting close to that point of giving up in future. We recently surveyed our Musical U tribe about what they felt was their biggest sticking point in music, and here's one of many replies that hit on this topic. Okay, I want to learn to play a musical instrument. I buy an instrument, so I have some lessons. Oh, I'll need to read some music theory books too, so I read some theory books. I do some online courses. I make some progress. Practice, practice, sort of practice, maybe tomorrow. This is too hard. Give it away. Maybe if I try a different instrument. Buy a different instrument. Then the whole process starts again, spread out over quite a few years. No point in rushing these things. So this chap was clearly poking fun at himself a bit. He knows this behaviour is counterproductive, but he's struggling to escape from it. And I had two answers for him. The first comes back to something from a previous episode that we'll link to from this one, all about your big picture vision. I would first want to ask him, where is it you want to get to? Because if his goal is absolute mastery of a single instrument, then yes, the pattern he's describing is unhelpful and frustrating and not the best way to go about things. But maybe actually if he stopped and thought about it, his goal is just to enjoy exploring and learning more things in music. And if that's the case, then actually there's nothing wrong with what he's doing. And maybe all he needs to do is let himself off the hook for the fact that his musical life and progress doesn't match up with some inherited template he's imagining about what learning music should look like. So that's the first thing I'd want to straighten out. But let's assume that he really is frustrated because he really does want to get more and more advanced and focus in on a single direction with his music learning. Well, then it comes back to this question of how do you know when to give up? And this is where it gets tricky, because we're not robots. Or at least we shouldn't be. What I mean is, for us to get all passionate and fired up about our music learning, we need to let our emotions play into it a little bit. Although we might feel like the most efficient learning path is to find a course or a sequence of learning and then plow through it in a straight line, step after step, day after day, until we reach the end. That's a neat idea, but we're not robots, and that pretty much never works out. For us to be motivated, we need to follow our whims and chase down new inspiration that pops up along the way. And that means there will be some detours or zigzagging in your music learning path. It's not just okay. It's necessary. But of course there is a danger here, as that member who wrote in was pointing to, that if taken to an extreme, it can lead to the feeling that you're just going in circles, because you never persist with one thing for long enough to see satisfying progress. You don't want to be a musical dilettante, flitting about from this to that on a whim and never actually improving. 
So how do you know when it's okay to change direction or jump to a new topic in your learning? And when should you knuckle down and call on your self-discipline and power through the hard work necessary? How do we find the balance between following our passions and inspiration and being diligent enough to actually improve in music? Here's the secret. It's all a matter of scale. This one idea can be your secret get-out-of-jail-free card that lets you escape that sense of despair any time you feel like giving up. Any time you feel like giving up completely, here's the hidden truth. You actually never want to give up in the big picture sense. If you've taken time to get clear on your big picture vision, and you're in touch with your why in music, then the overall musical journey you're on is never going to be one you genuinely want to give up on. To put it another way, we never truly fall out of love with music, even if the relationship has become a bit toxic. But it can certainly feel like you want to give up completely. You absolutely can feel tempted to give it all up. But that is a red herring. What's making you feel like giving up is always on a different level of scale than your big driving motivation. What does that mean? It means that we don't get frustrated or disappointed by our dreams. We get frustrated by the day-to-day -day and the practical bits and pieces that go into trying to achieve those dreams. So when you feel like giving up, the one critical thing you need to do is to pause and ask yourself, what am I actually feeling fed up with? Because I can guarantee it's going to be something small. Maybe it's a certain instrument technique that's driving you crazy. Maybe it's getting a particular piece or a set of pieces up to the standard you want. Maybe you're tackling some new area entirely, like learning improvisation for the first time. What frustrates you in the moment, day to day, will be something small and specific. Okay, but it's a bit trickier than that, and here are the two reasons we end up feeling like giving up entirely. Firstly, when these small-scale frustrations repeat day after day, it starts to feel all-pervasive. It feels like our whole musical life is failing, even though it's actually just this same small thing, again and again. Secondly, sometimes the small specific thing isn't one practical skill like instrument technique, it's planning. If you're spending your musical life doing activities without a clear, coherent plan that's aligned with your big picture vision, then you can wind up making progress in the small things, but you're moving in all different directions, and so your overall musical life can feel like it's stalled or failing. So when you're thinking, I'm not making any progress, or I never get better, that is not a sign that you should give up completely. It's just one of these two things making small, specific frustrations feel like they're all pervasive. So what's the solution then, in those moments when you feel like giving up? Pause. Take a deep breath. And then examine what exactly you're spending your time on. Ask yourself if it's all aligned with what you truly care most about in music. Get specific, so that you can see that the thing frustrating you is just a small thing in the grand scheme of things. Then, remind yourself that your excitement and your motivation for that big picture vision hasn't changed. You still care just as much about the overall musical journey you're on. Then, once you're feeling a bit of enthusiasm again, you can take a fresh look. Ask yourself whether that small thing frustrating you is even important. Ask yourself if there's another way to approach it or if it's best to take a break and reconnect with musical activities that light you up. You want to draw a little box around the specific thing or things that are frustrating you, and then take a fresh look at how you're spending your music time with your big picture vision to guide you. Now, believe me when I say that doing this can be like a silver bullet for frustration in your musical life, if you actually bother to do it. But I know you might also be thinking, all right, step back, get perspective, give yourself a little pep talk, but this thing is still driving me crazy. So in my next video, I'm going to be giving you a few more practical tips too on how to know when to persist and when to give up with a particular thing. If you want a sneak peek, then go ahead and grab the free cheat sheet for handling that question of should I stick with it. Just hit the link or visit the show notes for this episode at musicalitypodcast.com. Oh hey, one more thing. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to like it on YouTube, and if you haven't already, please also subscribe to our channel there. That's going to help make sure you get all our latest videos as soon as they come out, and it also helps us reach more people, which means more episodes, better guests, and everybody wins. So please take a second to like this video and hit subscribe.